Hello, Vyos Tom. It's good to have you on this program, Future Ambassadors. I'm Amawatola Adokai Ugundili. Today we're looking at something that is very, very jamming, that is important as to strike. On the 14th day of February 2022, the Academic Staff Union of University, ASU, the umbrella body of the teaching staff of Nigerian Public University, announced a warning strike. Is yet another face-off face -off with the federal government. What's the way forward? Is it all the time we go on strike? Is it all the time um, the students are allowed to stay at home? And what's the impact on our educational system? This and much more we want to look at on this program today. And I'm having some lovely guests in the studio that will be telling us more that we need to know about this. I'm having favor of Shuma Day. You're welcome to this program. Thank you. And I'm also having an associate professor, Rufai Kazim. You're welcome to this program, so, sir. Happy the to chairman be of ASU at Taswell University. Yeah. You're welcome, sir. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Okay, sir. Yes. We are looking at uh, the strike, but before then, let me go to favor. How do you see our educational system? Yeah. Okay, the educational system, um, the normal educational system in Nigeria is six years in primary school, mm. six years in, in secondary school, school then yeah. the minimum six, four three, years. Three, four. Yeah, the minimum of four years in the university. Mm. But um, this educational system is being affected by different, different things. Okay, like what? Yeah, like it can be affected even sometimes there was a time that secondary school used to strike too. Mm, yes. So it can be affected like the number age for someone to graduate and go to university can be affected. Mm. Now going to strike in the university too is another problem. It's another mean? problem entirely. Okay. So how do you see do you, what do you think okay before then let me go to um the Ogak Patakpata. Let me hear from you, sir. How can you say what can you say about our educational system? Actually Good day, everybody, Nigerians. I'm happy to be here. Yes, Before sir. I react to that, your question, let me quickly make a correction here. Okay. That ASU is an umbrella body of academic staff. Okay. Public, not teaching staff. There okay, an umbrella body of academic staff. Academic staff, okay. In public universities in Nigeria. Okay. Now to your question of our education system in Nigeria. Now, the way this the system has been structured, to a very large extent, is very good. But the only problem we have with our education system presently is how it is being handled, how it is being managed okay. by our, our leaders. But once it, that one is corrected, for sure that structure is. You, you think it's okay? Yeah. You know, some students will come out from secondary school when they talk, you think, ah, I just want really gone through school or even the university. As I said earlier on, there is nothing wrong with that structure. Okay. But the implementation is, is what, what is, is actually wrong. wrong. Okay. I think something must be done urgently to arrest that situation. Okay. There is nothing wrong with the system. Okay, let me go to Favor. Favor, this you people have been at home for like two months now or so, or more than since February 14. How do you see the strike? Okay. Is it a good thing? You are at home, at least you are relaxing, you are not cracking your brain <laughs> and all that. Um, the causes of the strike. Wow. Um, the causes of the strike, like, okay, let me cite an example. It can it will lead to low academic performance. Okay. Yeah, you can recall when there was coronavirus 2020. Mm. Yeah, the year that period when the Jam Bites did their UTME. Okay. That was when Jam recorded the Hello. poorest performance okay. in Jam. So judging by that fact. If there is a break in the academic system, you know, in the break in the academic calendar, it will affect the performances of the students. Okay. Then some students during this period will be using this opportunity to work. Mm -hmm. And some of them might receive a uh, like salary that will make them lose interest in going back to school. Okay. Because um, they won't want to come back to school because they feel like even if they graduate from school, they may not even see this job opportunity. offer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me go to you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, you've heard what Favor, Young Favor has said so far. So now, what actually is the cause of the strike? And don't you think it's affecting our academic st uh, system? Yeah, thank you so much for that beautiful question. In the first instance, ASU, I should let Nigerians, the public know that ASU is a body of intellectuals. Okay. Where we have eggheads. Mm. People who reason a lot before taking decisions. Now, sincerely, the ongoing strike is affecting the system, the educational system, badly, poorly. But the fact remains that this strike that we are currently executing can be seen to be inevitable 
mm. being inevitable in the sense that, as I said earlier on, as we being a union of intellectuals, we explored. Before that decision, the decision was so painful. I was at the meeting, at the next meeting at Abuja on February 14th. We had to stay through the night before mm. we declared that strike. And before declaring the strike, we, we did everything humanly possible to ensure that that strike didn't you know, hold. Okay. We lobbied. We engaged all those who, the, who are who in, the, in the country. And at the end of the day, we are here because our government would not just see that education should be handled with every you know, diligence it requires. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, if the government, if our government has done the needful, we will not be here talking of strike. Usually, once we go and strike, apart from affecting the students, it's even affecting lecturers. Mm. Because as I, did, as I said earlier on, we are not teaching staff, we are academic staff. Okay. And as academic staff, we just don't do teaching. We engage in some other things. Okay. We conduct research and we do mm. community service. So all these things are affected, apart from the students. And mm. Uh, the, the insinuation that maybe we only go on strike because we want to increase uh, our salary, it will, will be a fallacy. The fact is that if you go around most of the public universities in Nigeria, you realize that, for instance, if you go to a state university, you realize that most of the visitors, the governors are not, uh, will not even erect structures. It's, most of the structures you see in these universities are erected through Ted Fund. Mm -hmm. And Ted Fund is a baby of us to struggle. So what we are saying is that all these structures, if they are not readily available, the students will not have lecture rooms to, to, to take lectures. They won't have laboratories to perform their practicals, and libraries will be there without books. Mm. So meaning that this strike is not just about the condition of service of the lecturers, but for the betterment of the whole system, mm. the university system. So must we really go on strike all the time that we want um, to communicate to the government, that we want the government to know that, oh, you have to do this thing, otherwise we'll go on strike. Is that not really... Is there no a better way to do it? In sane societies, strike would be the, the last option. Mm. And I told you initially that when this strike was to be declared, we went through hell. We, you know, we had to go into meetings. And the reason why we are here is because our government is not sincere with taking the future of our children mm. the way it should be, it should be handled. Because at the end of the day, if after engaging, at a point we engage the NIREC, Nigeria Interreligious Council, okay. that please help us talk to government. We had an agreement in 2009. It's a gentleman agreement. Please, these things should be implemented and should be executed accordingly. The government will not even invite us to meeting. What are some of those things that people want? Yeah, we, we wrote. Several letters were written to government. Please call us to a meeting so that we can discuss all these things and look for it. No, government will just not, government will be adamant. But not until the strike is called that now they will start inviting us to meeting. So uh, everything boils down to our government. Our government should, should do more. Mm. Should, that is just the bottom line. So, so now, is a standard of education, and what is the best standard of education in, a, in an environment that you see, um, if you look at other schools abroad, people yeah. like going to abroad now. Even yeah. some African countries around, some people have been going there from Nigeria to that side. To study is it not a shame to us what's the best standard of education yes, sir. thank god you have used the word shame it is shameful that even the nearby Bene republic, Bene republic in the, we talk of capital flight our our student will live here the question would be what would the student learn in Bene republic that they will not be able we have experts here who will be able to do the teaching as expected but just because we are not being well treated here lecturers will prefer to leave the country that's what we are we talk of brain drain if a professor, to become a professor for crying out loud, you have to uh, maybe not less than 20 years in the system with the highest qualification, PhD, before you become a professor. Now, and I don't, you, are not, you won't be able to take home up to 500,000 naira a month. And if you see a better offer outside the country, people will start going out. So what we are trying to, to say now is that everything boils down to the fact that our government will have to be responsible and be more responsive. But who are these government? Is it not we? Are we not the government? Who makes up no, the no, government? When we say government, we are talking of those in position of authorities. Mm. We but, have governors, we, we have president, we have commissioners, we have ministers. These are, it's only if you want to deceive ourselves that we say we are part of government. 
We have the, 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 the leaders and the lead. We are just followers here. So everything boils down that the leadership should be alive to their responsibility. Okay, the leadership should be alive, alive to, to their responsibility. That's just it. Okay, a favor. What do you think can be done to curb out this SS strike? All the time lecturers go on strike and all that, and it's affecting your uh, your education, not just you, every other youth outside. Okay, let me let me first say this. Actually, strike is you not know, as if as you know, the ASU body really wants to go on strike. But I think they see it as a last resort because it's a bargaining mm. tool. That's just what you just said. Yeah, it's a bargaining tool between them and the government. Okay. So what they really want and what government should should do is that they should settle the um lecturers. They should settle their bills, the money they need. Mm. You should you should give them they've been um this matter has been between them and the government has been since two thousand and nine. So I I I can see what they are trying to do. Mm. But, but it's not I, affecting you, can't you? Think, don't you think the lecturers to to understand to 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 understand with the students that oh just manage whatever you are getting and let's continue with our education. <laughs> <laughs> Not even in this economy of Nigeria. Okay. Because I just seeing it this way, lecturers too, they are people to cater for. Mm. Thank you. They also have families that need things. Okay. So if the government can pay the lecturers and do the needful, they should be interested in not keeping the students waiting because they too. They don't see joy in making the students go back. Okay. So if the government can just pay the bills and settle the things that need to be done and to strike a bargain with the ASU body, then everything will be going well. It will be going to be going on smoothly. Okay. So now what's the what's the steps uh, um, the, that has been taken so far? This like going to three months, February. Um, this we are in May now. What are the steps that have been taken? Now, as I said earlier, when the when the strike was to be declared. On February 14th, you know, we after thorough deliberation, we decided that we should go for a four-week rollover strike. Rollover means at the end of the four weeks, if the needful has not been done, then we'll we continue. So after four weeks, government will not call us to a meeting, and another eight-week rollover was, you know, declared, and that will expire by mid of this month. Okay. And until now, our government is still not willing to do the needful. Mm. And you wonder that in this country, the, 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 the minimum wage is 30,000 30, naira. Mm. And a bag of rice now is <laughs> about 32 or 33,000 naira. I mean that a, 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 a worker is like our government deliberately want to impoverish the citizenry so as to continue to push us around. Presidential nomination form is now being sold at 100 million and then have, you know, for per, per form. And that that amount is sufficient to pay a university professor for almost 20 years. Mm. You can see how impoverished. So what you are saying, the only way forward is when we have to, let me see the community to corner on our parents and the students, that they should be involved. Okay. This strike is not just about the salaries of the lecturers. Okay. We are sorry, now we are talking of standard of education. Mm. When you go into the laboratory for practicals to be conducted, and the reagents, the chemicals are not there for the practical. What do you want to teach the mm -hmm. students? So it's like, I then we will be talking of half big graduates. Graduate. So it's not just about the salary of the lecturer, though that also is important. But we are saying that government should should be should show more interest okay. in how how uh, the students get involved now and the parent. Talking to the, I, I, I think that was the news sometimes. It was it last week that the student body under NAS now they are now telling government that if something is not done. That they won't allow the primaries, but political okay. party primaries to be held at Abuja is a way. At least with that, government will know that there is fire on the mountain. They will start if initially they are How not. How effective is that going to be? Don't Why it will, it, will, it will be effective? It, mm. It's it's going to be very very effective because they they as politicians they hold election in a very high. So anything that wants to disrupt that process, they want to look for a way a solution out of it. So if the students should make good that their threat i'm 100 percent sure that this issue this problem will be resolved and you think also will not call back in two years again to say okay we want another agreement no, want I said, uh, ASU is not a strike hungry organization okay, union okay. i said before we got here we we went through several deliberations so if as you have to come back to this strike thing again in the, in the next two or three years everything depends on government what we are saying that anytime we call on government, please come call us to a meeting. 
we are ready to sit down and discuss with government. But you know that you know toga of what what have you that government has will not allow them to come as to a meeting so that we will be able to get this thing resolved before it gets out of hand. Okay. So everything points out to the government doing the needful. Um, let me go to favor now. Favor, uh, we've seen um, some people leaving the country to go to school outside the country, like even being a Republican and some other. Do you think our education, do, don't you think we have best brains in this country? Because when we see our doctors that goes out of Nigeria, they perform well. Mm -hmm. We see some other people when they go to study outside, they come out with the best results. And I think we have best brains. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, that that's actually true. You know, when the okay, when the talent is already there, when the potential, let me use the word potentials, when you're already inside a person, you know the best environment, the best facilities, we have to bring that out. Okay. So that's why when people go abroad there, they perform. Very well. Yeah, so in Nigeria yeah, we lack facilities a lot. Mm. Like what? Um, like um, what the uh, Asus drama mentioned, like okay. um, the laboratory equipment. Mm. We, um, most of the things done here in Nigeria is just theory. Mm. The practical, it just maybe once in a while. So that was why when they go there, they do more practicals there. They will make yeah, you theory. want to. They will make you want to do it. Like know how to do it. Not that you just be taught here and you don't know anything about it. There are even some time that you want to do laboratory experiment. You can't even touch the laboratory apparatus. Mm -hmm. Because you're yeah, a science student. Yeah, I'm a science student. Okay. So that's that's basically what is happening. So when they go out there, they are free to do what they want to do. So that's why they are they, they, they can bring the best out of them. Okay. So sir, um what are we going to do to help us falling for me I think our standard of education is not like before, the days of our forefathers that they have the best education. You see somebody that just leaves standard C's and it can speak very well, can write very well, unlike what we have today. Uh, you see these same Nigerians when they go outside, outside, outside of the country, they perform very well. What's really happening? And is it just to test students based on test and examination? What's the best way to teach these students and they can understand? Now, it's a, it's a pity we are here. Several things are wrong with our country, Nigeria. And the earlier we all rise up to handle the situation, the better for everyone. Now, the orientation is gradually changing. Nowadays, students even don't, most students, if you conduct that research, you realize that most of them don't even believe in going to school again. Mm. Because they think the best thing is to make, make, money. make money and you are celebrated. Mm. That is the orientation we are now tilting towards. So what we are seeing here is, is that it's like we have to reposition. We have to re-engineer. We have to re-educate our youth that that's, money is not everything. But getting the basic things. So at the end of the day, even if you don't have that money, you will still be fulfilled. But so that it will not be that it has to let me look for money by all means, going through rituals, going through internet fraud and what have you, all these things. So what we are only trying to do is that we have to do reorientation. Okay. That should be a way we should reorientate our, our youth. That education is the bedrock. We should take it seriously. So now what should we expect in um, some years to come on our educational standard? In case the government answered you people now, what are those things that we are going to see on ground? Now if the requests of ASU are granted you know we are talking of university we will we, we'll do research things will continue to grow so mean that if all these requests are granted now are approved so sure we still need government tomorrow to come around and let us see some other things that must be done so the only appeal for us to bring up to revamp our education system is for government not to abandon even if all these requests are granted you see that the government. we still need it in government anytime any day and they should be readily available you know whenever we call on them so that is just it if this thing should be properly handled should be probably brought back to life we are saying that our government after granting the request on table for now they should always be available to attend to to our needs petition Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Favre, what do you expect from most of our lecturers these days? Some of them, like you said earlier, on, they just give theories and all that. What are those things? Do you think uh, technology should be introduced? The best, um, like during the COVID, we used uh, technology was used to 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 from the teachers to the from the lecturers to the students, and it was fine. Do you think more of that should be embraced and all that? 
Yeah, I think yeah, that should be embraced. You no know, technology. I don't know. It's like as if Nigeria doesn't want to improve, or maybe let's see because of the way politicians are taking things in this country. Mm -hmm. They are just looting the money. <laughs> Let me not say they are just embracing okay. the funds because of all these things. So you all go back down to the ASU strike. Why those? Why the ASU bodies on strike? They are fighting to the government to release these funds. So are they able to provide these facilities that we need? Okay. This technology that we need to be able to do this practical as well. So or do you think the government has not really been providing the way? Maybe corruption somewhere, somehow somebody is uh, siphoning the let money. Me, let, me, let, me, let me see. Nigeria, like the money they are paying five years ago mm. is what they are still paying to some lecturers now. Are you a lecturer? I'm not a lecturer, but how I feel because I think <laughs> this thing it is, it is with the levels and everything. Mm. So it's all that was in this level, let's like, say maybe like. 2019 oh, yeah, and it's yeah, in the same level 2022 the cost of um, things in 2019 is not the same thing in 2022 and they expect them to even that the same money of 2019 to be funding and be footing bills in 2020 it cannot work okay okay so what do you have to say let me quickly add to what my brother has just said now ours is just not 2019 the same salary we've been earning since 2009 mm. a, a bag of cement in 2009 i think was 700 naira today a bag of cement is about 4,000 plus so what you are saying is that as i said earlier several things are wrong with us as a country ne look everywhere you realize that you see elements of corruption mm. sometimes ago a prime minister said nigerians are corrupt are fantastically corrupt and we were, we were agitating we were saying and uh, actually when we, when we dig deep we realize that corruption is everywhere because you can just this century we are talking of you know bringing in technology into into education what powers technology we need electricity and today you guys are electricity so we have a lot of challenges here and not until all these challenges are addressed we will still be here and won't be able to make any headway mm. that's just it mm. okay so uh, we are running up uh, we are running out of time okay. so what can you say to the government in uh, favor, what can you say to the government? What can you say to uh, even students at home? Because I believe some students are doing some other things they are not supposed to be doing this period. What message do you have for them? All right, so the students at home, depending on the time that this strike will be resolved, they should find something doing, like maybe learn a trade or so. At least when they are done with university, at least they have something doing. Okay. You know, when, they, when the jobs opportunities are near there, at least they have something to like fall back on. Okay. And to the government, I will appeal to them that they should please find so a solution to this as a strike. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. A message to people at home yeah. and to students that are already discouraged and all that. Yeah. What do you have to say? Yeah, let me start from the parents. That parents should not see the ongoing ASU strike that it is for self encouragement that actually ASU is only concerned about yeah, well, uh, welfare. Okay. No. They should be told in clear terms that this struggle is for the betterment of the Nigerian system. Once the education system, the university system is well, you know, structured, usually all of us will enjoy it at the end of the day. Mm. People now, don't need to travel abroad again. Another thing is that for to our students, we are all involved. Because even as lecturers, we still have part of some of us who are still students somewhere those pursuing their PhD program and some other. So we are all involved. And we all also have children. I will go to school to university. So we are all involved. But to our government, to those people in leadership position, they should know that they are writing their histories. Even if we are not courageous enough to tell them that what they are doing now is wrong, someday when they are no longer in that office, we will tell them to their visitors that actually when you are in, the history will be there. And one good thing about history is that it cannot be doctored. Mm. Once it is made, people will read. The children yet unborn will read what they did while they are in office. Please, you are you all know that the agitation of ASU is legitimate. So this unnecessary prolongation is unnecessary. Is unnecessary. And the earlier solution is profile to all this problem. The better. the better for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And thank you to Favor for, for coming. Yeah. And thank you, Via Saturn, for being there. You've heard it all. Until come your way again on the same program next week. Bye bye.